Uh, so today we're working on a 2012 Dodge Journey. This is an SE model with a 2.4 liter four cylinder. And uh, came in for some issues, but uh, one of the fault codes that were active was, was the uh, U113E-00 lost communication with intelligent battery sensor. And uh, yeah, that's an active fault. So we're gonna go ahead and run through the quick diagnosis on it and see what we come up with. Um, you can see I've already taken the air box out. That sort of uh, runs through this a little bit, but uh, basically you're gonna have, it's a really simple circuit. Your battery sensor is attached to the negative terminal. It's part of the negative terminal on your battery, which is down in the, behind the fender. And there is one power wire that feeds that. And then there is a communication line that goes to the body control module. It's called LIN, which is your local uh, interconnect network and it's just a communication line. That's all it is, one wire. So uh, first thing we're gonna check is the fuse. That's the easiest thing to check. And it will be this 10 amp fuse, which is number 179, F179 battery sensor. So I'm just gonna take my meter here hook this up one to the negative okay we got battery voltage there and we got battery voltage on the other side so I know that we have power going through the fuse uh, next step we gotta get down to the battery sensor and disconnect it and then we'll check for power down there to make sure that our power feed wire is good um, now, I took this air box out because the battery is right there and you can see the two wires, the red and the orange, that go to the battery sensor connector. And if you take a close look, you can actually see that where that connector plugs in, it's, it's almost crooked a little bit. And you can see that the wires are up against the body. So I'm, my guess is somebody has gotten in there, tightened down the terminal, and the whole sensor has shifted up against the body and it may have broken that sensor. So it does not look right to me, but uh, what I'm gonna do is grab a, a wrench and disconnect that negative battery terminal. And I'll take a close look at it before I go ahead and pull the sensor off, so. So I've just got my uh, quarter inch wrench or ratchet with a uh, socket in there. If you did not have the air box out, that's how you would get in there and do it. You could probably do it with the wrench as well. So now we've got this loose. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, take that off. I'm actually gonna turn off this uh, battery maintainer. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's rubbed through. No, yeah, so you see how you see this here? That shouldn't be like that. Oh, yeah. Yep. All right, so we're going to, uh, we got this connector unplugged now. Grab your meter and uh, put, make sure you got the battery terminal and the negative back onto the battery. So you're going to hook one lead up to the negative. And then with the ignition off, I'm just gonna check. Yep, so we got battery voltage there. Now, I just stuck the back probe into the front of the connector. If you're doing that, don't jam it in there. You might spread the terminals on the, the pin. Um, no. All right, so you're gonna have to have the key on and we're gonna check, check that orange wire, which is your communication line. So, we have 10.8 volts, which is good. What you want to see is anything over five volts. If it's below five volts, then you know that uh, you've got a wiring issue. If it's above five volts, you know that you've got a sensor issue. So as we've seen, this sensor is broken. It's wiggling. That shouldn't be like that. And what's happened is, it's now the seal is compromised and corrosion's gotten into those pins. 
So I guarantee you one pin will be broken. Need the sensor.